Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Sophie. Today I <laughs> Today I am on my way to my acting class. I decided to film another YouTube video while driving there. Right now it's 4:13 p.m. My class starts at 5 p.m. We are we're going to arrive at 4:58, so we're not running late, which is a first time for me. <laughs> if you guys see a lot of like my phone falling down or like editing things it's probably because my phone fell down because right now it's not secured anyway i wanted to tell you guys a little story of what happened um last week last week i went shopping with a professional stylist we basically met at a mall early in the morning and she picked out a whole wardrobe for me we tried everything on in five different stores bought everything i'm really happy with the results because it was my first time ever working with one it was just kind of fun because yes you're going shopping but at the same time you're trying on some new things i tried on like a different dress some skirts i never realized how many different things that i can wear and how many different things i avoided wearing because of my insecurities. I've noticed that I've gained a little bit of weight this past year due to the increase in my work, school, just kind of like I let my nutrition and I let my exercise get a little bouncy and that's the reason why. And when I went shopping with the stylist it made me realize how really pretty my body is and how much I do really like fashion and just wearing really comfortable but nice clothes. Till that day, I always thought that you need to have a specific type of body to look good or you have to wear a specific type of things to look good. What I just realized is that people don't see your insecurities, only you can see them. So whenever I see a person, I don't look at their insecurities because I don't know them. I just look at what they're wearing, how they feel, how they feel good in their clothes, how they feel good in their body and that is what makes that is the only thing that I see about them. What came to my mind is that you really, people really don't realize your insecurities because maybe they're just in your head. The person that I look up to, meaning like strength-wise, body-wise, exercise-wise, can have their own insecurities that they may look on me or another person. If you have something that you don't like about yourself or your body, it could be either your fashion style even, it could be just anything in general you can work on it just realize that it's it's not that big that you make in your mind if it's not a very big health issue it's smaller than you think it is for example with my insecurity i have a little insecurity about the excess squish i have in my body for example <laughs> for example i have some in my arms legs and belly that is my insecurity so I always try to wear clothes that kind of cover it up or don't really show it that much. But for example, when I went with the stylist, she showed me some shorts, she showed me some shirts like with um, short sleeve, like this shirt I actually got with her, it's just a black tee and it's very comfortable and I ended up getting it because I liked how it looked good on me. It really is great getting a second person view on your body and your clothes when you're just with your thoughts and constantly with yourself every single day every single hour you tend to shape your truth just by your own thoughts so you think this is what i have to wear to cover my insecurity about this i cannot wear that that doesn't look good on me i don't look good but when you get a second person view on things for example that was my stylist she was showing me things that looked good on my specific body type she said that i have a nice waist i have nice etc she really picked out great wardrobe that isn't just comfortable with what I used to wear but it's comfortable for me to right now wear and to get used to wearing so she picked out like a denim skirt lots of uh, blazers she picked out different types of jeans very baggy even if I do wear jeans they're just kind of straight but she picked out some that are on your waist some that are high rise low rise that is why I think that meet with the stylist was so great for me and will be great for anybody who is struggling with sort of finding clothes that look good on your body. You open up your mind because you get another person who is also a professional about these things to give you the right information and give you the right clothes to wear for your wardrobe. It might sound like a really small thing, but I know so many of us struggle with these kinds of things. We kind of like tend to pick out clothes that we look good in and as in like, we are not comfortable with wearing because of this, this, this. That's why it might actually be 
a problem solver if you do have an issue with your body and some insecurities. So if you guys want to see some things that I got, I posted a video where I showed you guys four different outfits and those outfits are very different in style. I feel like the first one is very like elegant, another one is the denim skirt and the denim blazer I got. So you guys can go watch it and see what kind of things I got and I definitely recommend you my stylist. Just overall getting a second opinion like I was talking about is it just helps you expand your horizon on yourself, your thoughts, your clothes and just the sense of comfortability in yourself and your body. So if any of you guys are struggling with some insecurities about your body, just keep remembering that don't don't take it hard on yourself. You know, if if there is something that you are you are wanting to either work on, like for example, maybe work out more, eat healthier, maybe cut out on some things, add some better things, whatever. Just remember that yes, you can improve on that, you can work on that, but it took time for that to develop. As in like, if you have a bad habit of eating too many sweets, it probably didn't happen in one day. Probably took a while that you didn't realize it was happening. So right now when you do realize it, it's actually great because you can actually see what was happening these past weeks, months, years, and you can do something to change that. So don't take it hard on yourself. Your habit didn't develop, your insecurity didn't develop in one day, and it's not gonna go away in one day. Keep working on it. Make it a pleasure to keep working on yourself. Make it a pleasure to wear things right now and wear other things in the future. Make it a pleasure of working out. Find pleasure in working on yourself and building better habits and rewarding yourself with things like better clothes or what I found f helpful was um, I found that I was not drinking enough water even though I drink a lot of it when I go to like dance class or something and I bought myself a really nice water bottle to keep myself like consistently getting a new habit of that. So don't take it hard on yourself, keep working on it and reward yourself with things to make the whole journey and just your life enjoyable and happy. So thank you for watching you guys, I am now going to hop off. It is, okay, half an hour left before we get to my acting class. Just wanted to share this thing with you guys. It, it maybe is a little bit small, but it's what I've been thinking for these two weeks. And um, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue making these videos, other suggestions of what you want me to talk about. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Team class, right now it's four. <sighs>